Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's a very small week with very big things to talk about. Gotta start with the DC guys these days. This is Batman Rebirth number one. Last week's DC Universe Rebirth number one was probably the most popular comic I've seen in a long time. We sold a million copies in like five minutes. Batman's the one everybody's been waiting for, so get down to your local shop right now and pick up one of these before they're gone, because they're going to go fast. Lots of Rebirth news. Superman Rebirth, number one. A lot of stuff been going on with the big blue these days. Last week had a lot of big Superman news. This week's Rebirth. Everybody knows I'm a big Superman fan. Green Lanterns, plural. If you caught that uh, DCU Rebirth, number one, you saw her show up. She's getting her own title. Always good to see a new Green Lantern. And Green Arrow Rebirth. Getting back to the uh, more old school Green Arrow stuff. Been a big Green Arrow fan for a long time. Highly recommend checking out the Kevin Smith trade paperback that this one kind of homages to. Good Green Arrow stuff. But there's all kinds of other DC. Batman Beyond It's a title I've been talking about for a while. Is a good example of the huge range that they have with the Batman comics along with Batman 66. Coming of the Superman from the all-time legendary Neil Adams. Everybody around here loves Neil Adams. If you're not a big fan then you should uh, Google a huge list of his work and pick up everything he's ever done. It'll make you a big fan. DC Comics Bombshells another super red hot title. Harley and Joker's daughter there on the cover. And Injustice are your alternate universe DC books for the week. And Dr. Fate rounds out your DC stuff. Good week for the Marvel guys too. Civil War 2 is all the rage these days. The movie's huge. Number zero to uh, Civil War 2 sold out in about five minutes. So again, you'll want to get down to your shop and pick up number one here before it's gone. That's always fun stuff. All new, all different Avengers. One of my favorite titles right now. These Alex Ross covers are gorgeous. I'm always saying that anything with an Alex Ross cover is worth it just for the cover. All new Wolverine. You can read more about this one in our newsletter this week. Another title I've been a fan of. And Old Man Logan are your Wolverine titles for the week. Amazing Spider-Man with another gorgeous Alex Ross cover. Taking on Iron Man. Big Spider Week this week. You got Amazing there. You got 2099. You got Spider Woman. And you've got Spider Women Omega, which concludes your Spider Women stuff with Silk and Spider Gwen and all that fun stuff. Speaking of the women of the Marvel Universe, universe here's A Force. That's all your Lady Avengers. That book's been a lot of fun and gaining a lot of steam too, so if you haven't been jumping in on this, I want to pick this one up and see what all the hubbub's about. Invincible Iron Man continues Bendis' take on uh, good old Tony Stark. Mary Jane Watson there on the cover. Moon Knight and Punisher both getting new titles these days from the dark side of the Marvel Universe. Everybody's happy to see Punisher, both of those guys actually, back in a book. Contest of Champions and X-Men 92 rounds out your Marvel stuff for the week. Always a big week for those guys. Good week for my friends at Dark Horse. Your last issue of Hellboy in Hell. You know, I'm always talking up Mike Mignola, the BPRD, Abe Sapien, Lobster Johnson, or this guy, Baltimore. This isn't a Hellboy related title, but vampire hunting coolness. You know, I love anything Mike Mignola. I'm going to be sorry to see him wrap it up. Huge week for the Image guys. Walking Dead. Biggest book Image has. One of the biggest books in comics. If you're one of the folks that only follow the trade paperbacks, you should really catch up to the single issues because just like the TV show, it's more fun to watch in single issue form. More suspenseful. Paper Girls might be your Image book for the week. This one and Monstrous are gaining a lot of steam these days. I want to grab that first issue and again see what all the hubbub's about. But Stray Bullets is my image book of the week because David Latham is awesome. Been a huge fan of this book for the longest time. Kind of very dark, 
very edgy, but lots of twists and turns. Psychological thriller, I think, is what they call them. Bob's Burgers is my dynamite book of the week because it's written by the same people who write the show, so it's equally awesome. And Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Number One is our boom book of the week. So you guys can't seem to get enough of this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers stuff. And a pretty small week for the all ages, but of course there's always some fun stuff. Marvel's got the all ages version of Civil War. Tons of fun. And DC's got Teen Titans Go. Just as hilarious as the TV show. So if you've got little ones, or if you just want to take a break from the uh, apocalyptic nature of regular comics, then grab some All Ages books. Like I say, pretty small week, but always lots of great stuff to check out. Want to start talking up the Black Hat Comics pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con. Uh, in July, the week before San Diego Comic-Con, we've got a whole week-long festival going on that's going to include our grand opening. We've got a signing and panel with Liam Sharp, the artist for Wonder Woman. Uh, so you can get your Wonder Woman Rebirth, your Wonder Woman number one sign. That's going to be huge. Uh, we've got the swap meet coming back, movie night, all the fun stuff that we always do for pre-Comic-Con, Comic-Con. Check out the newsletter, the Facebook page, the events page at the website for all the info. It's going to be five huge events, lots of things all week long starting uh, Wednesday, July 13th. Lots and lots of fun, so don't miss out. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at Facebook, check us out at blackcatcomics.biz, check out our cool YouTube channel, or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.